protection and as i've stated over and over in previous shows federal gag orders previously on all national weather service and NOAA employees because our government certainly does not want the population to wake up to the fact that climate engineering highly toxic devastating climate engineering is going on above their heads every single day and when i hear from those people who convince themselves that if this was really going on these agencies would speak out how in the world are they going to speak out what an absurd notion that these people from these agencies are going to be lining up to make their voices heard when they lose their jobs their retirements or much much more depending on how much they know who in their right mind would think such people are going to be lining up with no First Amendment protection, federal gag orders, Trump issuing even more of these now? Is the direction we're heading not crystal clear? Does it look like we're heading any different direction with this new administration? It doesn't to me. And my experiences with USDA biologists, by the way, I'm, I'm sorry to say, they're unlike this EPA official that I'm communicating with. I know local USDA scientists in Northern California that I'm sorry to say have shown no courage, no honor, none. And I worked extensively with some of these experts. And I've been in the field, as I've stated in previous shows, testing soils, getting pH values that were astoundingly higher than the baselines which we had in our possession. pH values that can only be attributed to the massive amounts of heavy metals in our rain, which alters rain pH, which begins to load the soils, which it's doing. And none of them had the courage to say anything officially. In fact, as I've stated in previous shows, I had one look at me in the field while we were testing and say, what do you want us to do about it? How about standing up, being a man, being a father, being a citizen of the planet, and telling the truth, no matter what the consequences, because to tell the truth while you can matters and to be silent and cower in the corner while the entire ship goes down won't save you it won't save you and if everyone stands up together and those academicians and biologists and agency experts that are listening to this broadcast when will you tell the truth how long will you try to protect your paychecks and pensions at the cost of the entire planet going down how long and peaking later than usual. That's the uh, Idaho State Journal. Stanton community grieves after educator dies from complications from the flu, and it's killing people in the lungs. Flu season hits new highs, but massive vaccinations happening. People say, you need to take the shot so I don't get sick, but they're the people that have taken it that are dying so many times. I mean, if you're protected, then you're protected, I thought. Flu season hits new highs, uh, and it's going so late. Uh, we have another article, uh, others uh, dying that are prominent. So it just expands. North Carolina reports eight more deaths from influenza. We're going to be breaking this down. But Merle Hager dead at 79. Certainly some sad news. But his great music will live on forever. The That's Hag the is dead. Yeah, I guess I could try to call up Willie Nelson. Uh, I haven't hung out with him in a while, but he's, he's friends. And maybe get his take on this. But what we really want to do is the weather. And again, I focus on the weather a lot because I feel mathematically, rationally, if all the data is examined, the greatest threat to each and every one of us, short of nuclear cataclysm, which we have happening now as well, is climate engineering, because you can't escape it. You can't walk out your door and take a breath without inhaling what the climate engineers are spraying. So yes, we face a lot of threats, but nothing can match that threat that's systematically decimating the entire web of life. How long can you hold your breath? So yes, the climate engineers continue to wreak havoc around the globe. The weather whiplash will continue as the U.S. and around the globe, the climate engineering programs are ramped up to ever larger levels. We're going to see radical temperature swings that will continue these radically warm temperatures to a very short, brief, intense cool off as they chemically ice nucleate material going further into winter. I'll talk about that more later as well. We see the really immense amount of anthropogenic damage to the planet. A lot of people I know don't want to believe that. A lot of people want to believe that it's, it's okay to 
loot, plunder, and pillage the planet forever and nothing will ever go wrong. That's not reality. It's simply not reality. And the greatest form of damage, the greatest single form, the most glaring red flag of human assault against the planet ever launched, mathematically, is climate engineering, if we look at all the angles from, of decimation.